Spark TV. Metal in action. So hi there, you are watching Spark TV Metal in action. And of course uh, now, uh, this is the last day of the Metal Fest 2017. And today uh, there was uh, Orin Ogen from Germany. And this is Seb, right, the frontman of this cool band. But we will talk about the new album. So hi Seb. Hi. So why you decided for this kind of, maybe we can say, the story, image and so on? Actually, we always have um, some sort of a general topic for the records. And uh, we did want to do a dark fantasy Wild West, a horror version of the Wild West uh, for a long time. And uh, it basically came up uh, while we were songwriting, because the first two songs that we wrote had some sort of like Wild West melodies in it. Like, it reminded us a lot of, uh, of the um, movie scores from Ennio Morricone, for example. Yeah, yeah. And so we were like, okay, if it sounds, the melodies sound a little bit like Wild West, then my, maybe this is the time now to do it. All right, so the whole story, um, the, the whole record is something like, um, not a concept album, but there is a something like a uh, continuous story during the song, during the song. Um, not even a continuous story during the songs. It is. It all takes place in like the same world, basically. Um, there are some songs that have, yeah, these dark fantasy Wild West themes and are easy, small, little nice stories. Like uh, the title track "Gunman," for example, is like our homage if you if you want to do the Wild West genre. Like one guy who's a vigilante, like taking the justice into his own hands, and basically. Uh, there's nothing, nothing more to it. There are other songs on the record, like for example, Vampire and Ghost Town. Okay. That um, yeah. I have my popular. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Yeah, you like it. I like it too. I like it too. But it, I think uh, it seems to be a love it or hate it song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, but uh, coming back to that, um, for example, Vampire and Ghost Town is using the same vocabulary mm -hmm. um, or the same imagery, but it is totally not about a vampire or a ghost town. It's about a, a guy who is in a relationship with the wrong woman and uh, he's isolating himself from his friends and stuff yeah. like that so it's just uh, just metaphors if you want so mm -hmm. and i like that a lot to to stay in the same vocabulary or field of world uh, words and uh, basically describe something and it means something totally different Yeah, I heard from my colleague uh, who was on listening session um, that uh, the video for Gunman was recorded in real uh, places, right? In yes. USA. Yes, we, we uh, recorded um, or shot uh, the video footage in uh, Monument Valley in the USA. We uh, we were there anyway because we played a 70,000 tons of metal and just flew from Miami to Salt Lake City. There's a friend of us living and uh, went from there to Monument Valley because this is the one and only scenery for a Wild West clip, so we had to go there, obviously. And uh, we thought, yeah, maybe, yeah, another coincidence that we have been on the uh, 70,000 tons as well. Mm -hmm. So we thought, okay, now it's the time to go there yeah. anyway. And um, the rest of the clip was uh, shot um, in an old saloon uh, in Fort Fun, that is an adventure park, actually, quite close to where we live. And uh, this adventure park is also, as you can guess from the name, is also like Western themed. So that was a perfect fit. My opinion is that uh, there are some parts uh, that is most aggressive parts uh, in organ organ history. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the other thing is this was also not on purpose. I mean, there are also songs that are really like very catchy. Like mm. I think one of the reasons why not everyone likes Vampire and Ghost Town because it is because it's so catchy. Actually, yeah. it's like a pop song. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of songs that are also what you said like very heavy with very heavy riffs and stuff like that but it was not all on purpose it's just uh, we didn't do songwriting for quite a while because we were very very busy after the release of Ravenet so, yes, so yes. with the band and I mean we toured with Powerwolf we toured with Hammerfall a lot of festivals and stuff like that and uh, so I think this is just uh, the record of a band that that really loves what they are doing at that point and I mean life is great for Orton Organ at the moment the band is growing and growing and everything gets bigger and better for us and uh, so we we had a lot of fun of like composing these uh, these uh, songs and also had um, yeah a lot of the live uh, um, stuff in mind as well while we were composing
actually, I think you definitely found yourself. I actually think we did that a long time ago. I just think that people have another another view on that because they, they listen to more of the records and now see that there is a really distinct Orden Ogan sound. I mean, when we did the first record, Veil, vale, the German rock heart uh, said, oh, these are the only uh, uh, the only one and only Blind Guardian successors. And yeah. um, the, the German Metal Hammer said, uh, these are the new Running Wild. And I mean, Running Wild and Blind Guardian have nothing alike, you know? So um, this is, uh, I think, Already there, you could see that, that people say, okay, you can compare it a little bit to this and that, but it's not like a copy of something. So I think we had our own sound even back then, but uh, maybe it's a little more refined now, yeah. So what is your most favorite uh, track on this album? Uh, you said me that you can't listen it now anymore, but <laughs> no, uh, okay, so there, there has to be some kind of song. I, I hope. <laughs> I mean, I like them all, actually. Um, I think from a, from a listener's perspective, I like a lot uh, Fields of Sorrow and uh, Phoenix Coronat Opus. I think Phoenix Coronat Opus with, I don't know, nine minutes or something, yeah. that might not be the song that we play live each night. Um, I also like the title track a lot. I like um, Forlorn and Forsaken. I also like Vampire and Ghost Town, so I, I think there are a lot of songs that, that I personally really, really like. Yeah. Uh, I have to say that uh, this is a, one of the best melodic albums that I heard for a long, 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 long time. So you have to check it, of course. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. Good luck with the new album, of course. With, good luck on tour, and of course. And uh, yeah, I think we will see very, very, very early. I know it. So everybody stay tuned for more info, of course, and check the new Orden Organ album. Stay tuned. Nové album Orden Ogen Gunman můžeš už teď objednávat na Sparker.cz Spark TV Metal in Action